Hey guys, uh, just wanted to say hey and give you a little update. Oh, uh, it's been a hell of a ride. Every day slightly gets worse. Today feels just like yesterday. Um, I'm not going to be doing any exercise for a few days. I think exercise is just revving up my symptoms. You know, everybody around me thinks I should exercise. And I'm not exercising hard, trust me. You know, I can't even barely stand up, right? So, just trying to take a walk outside. But my head's so screwed up. Everything's constantly moving and whatnot that I, it's almost impossible. Um... So I'm going to try to keep busy here in the apartment today. Uh, yesterday was a bad day. I still went out for like a 20 minute walk and I think that just made it worse. I, t I laid down to take a nap. Not that I ever fall asleep, but I laid down close my eyes. And I almost always almost fall asleep until that buzz goes through me and wakes me up. But after I got up from there, it was... The next, like, five hours were so horrific. I got scared. I admit it. I got scared. Um, I'm just assuming, because I, I weigh out the mirtazapine at night to 6.7. I weigh it three times and make sure it's that. I'm, I'm just sort of thinking that maybe I did something wrong. I can't gauge what. I either weighed it and it didn't work right and it was either too low because too high wouldn't really screw me up that bad Cause if I go higher it's really not as big of a deal but when you cut that's where the problems come in so I either think it was too low by mistake or I double dosed maybe I mean I seriously doubt that but I just, I'm trying to come up with a reason. So I'm just assuming that, and I'm going to leave it at that and just continually doing what I'm doing, 6.7 mirtazapine every single night. I was going to taper in a month, but if that's what I'm going to have to deal with by a simple uh, little tiny bit of a change, then uh, apparently that's not going to happen. And as you guys keep telling me on the, on, uh, the forum... You know, I have to accept, I have to accept this. This Thursday it'll be three months and I can't tell you how much I cannot accept this. I have no idea how to accept it. I don't know how people do it because it's not at a level that's tolerable mentally. You know, that's what's really hard. It's not at something that's like, okay, I'll have to accept that I'm going to feel like this. You know, it's just like mentally screwed up. That's one of my worst issues is my whole life is that I was scared of being mentally messed up. Because I've always had some, like, mental issues. But not like this, of course. But they were enough to, you know, keep me going to doctors and stuff. But... Looking back, I mean, there were nothing in comparison. I was just freaking lazy. You know, now I wish I could go for a walk and stuff, but I was just, I'm not going to do it right now. Then, I just didn't. I had too much to do. That's garbage. Garbage. And these are the things that will change my future. You know, I'm sick of the intrusive thoughts. They're horrifying. I mean, I'll never, you know, do anything to harm myself or anything because i just not that type of person no matter where I am mentally. But the intrusive thoughts are brutal. They're brutal and hard. And they just don't stop. they'll slow down. I mean, sometimes they slow down. Like right now, they're not so bad. 
you know, but the anxiety went down a little bit. I had to, uh, took my girlfriend's car into the shop, so I had to follow her in my car. And like I said, I am not in any mood mode to drive at all. I shouldn't be on the road whatsoever. I'm like, I'm like a bad drunk driver. It's really creepy driving, but, you know, I mean, I figure if, you know, 80-year-old women and little old men can drive their cars, you know, I guess once in a while I could take a one-mile drive. That was creepy, though. But it did, you know, I can gauge how I feel when I drive, really. You know, and that's how I could tell today was pretty messed up mentally. But I could tell that my my uh, anxiety was down a little bit. Not good, but as to where a week and a half ago, you know, I would sit at a stoplight and literally almost have a panic attack just sitting there because my eyes go crazy. Just having to sit there and look at everything be so strange. When you're driving, for some reason, it's, it's like you're paying so such attention. I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad, but today wasn't as bad. Oh, I just I honestly I don't know how people do this. I I don't I don't get it. And I'm just at such a loss and I cannot I cannot accept the fact that I was only on a, such a low dose of benzos for such a short time and I'm going through absolute hell and almost losing everything. You know. That concept is so messed up. Now, if I would have been, like, I know I'm super sensitive, so I can almost see why this is happening to me. I've always been really sensitive to medicines and everything. So, when I originally got on benzos, I thought I said to myself, well, you know, I, I heard they could be addictive. Well, okay, but if they're going to help me for a while, and I need to get off of them eventually, then I'll get off of them. Big deal. Just like every other damn drug. But I didn't know it was going to take me out. I could tell that something put me into a wave and a bad one. My body is buzzing so bad. Last night when I was sleeping, you know, that wave in your body of electric that just goes up and down. Ugh, it's horrible. You know, I eat pretty good. I had squash soup. Yes, my girlfriend made squash soup. I'm going to change the subject. Squash soup, and it had some cumin in it and stuff. Oh, it was so good, and we've got so much left. Had some, like, rosemary bread with it. I mostly eat really healthy. Most of the time it's just plain chicken and some, like, yellow squash or green or whatever. And it's pretty bland, so I don't have to worry about food bothering me and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm going crazy. You know, I'm almost ready just to buy some damn hot dogs and eat some damn hot dogs. I'm so tired of this. You know, luckily I can handle uh, barbecue ribs, which is funny because every time I somewhat feel good and I know I can drive a little bit, I'll drive down to the store. And even though I run through the the supermarket really quick because I'm so messed up, but, like, it's my thing where I'll get their ribs, and they're friggin' expensive, and it's at the expensive store, but it's the only store I can go to because nobody really shops there, so I can get through there pretty quick. <laughs> but I just had those, like, last week because I had a window last week for, like, half a day, and it was after that half a day that window shut so hard. And I think it was just the, here you go, here's a window, because you're about to go through some absolute hell, brother. And I did. Maybe I slept better that day, I don't know. I slept okay, good last night. But, uh... As you guys tell me, you know, acceptance. Acceptance is hard. I don't know how anybody accepts this at all. You know, i got to keep myself occupied all the time. And these videos help because I keep myself talking. And, of course, I'm still thinking about this, so I don't know if how that much helps. But, you know, I do work and 
stuff around the apartment and whatnot, but it's just to fill every single day with something to do is just near impossible. And to ignore your symptoms is impossible. You cannot ignore it because if, you know, if you guys, you know, are the lucky ones like me and have the really bad mental stuff going on, you think you can't ignore that. You can't because it's, it's like you're another human. So, but I do my best. I mean, I've made it through almost three months, so, I mean, with the help from you guys, mostly, my girlfriend and friends. Here's another positive thing. Uh, so, you know, I work from home. I normally work outside of home and home, but my girlfriend's helping doing the outside work, and I do some work at home, but I seriously don't get as much it's done as I used to, and, you know, I mean, things are, it's kind of almost cut in half until we get used to a new way of figuring things out. Yeah, I have my girlfriend working for me now, so she's doing that. So the money's definitely, I mean, it's always going into the little bit of savings we have and everything, but, but I have a uh, fundraiser I just started. I'm going to post it, I mean... Anything can help. It's just, we're moving at the end of the month, and a lot of, we're just really screwed. I'm getting medical bills left and right. I even have health insurance. I should just make a separate video on that damn Obamacare in general. But uh, real quick, I have health insurance, and it doesn't, they just fight everything. They just don't care. Thousands of dollars in ER bills and everything. Everything they're supposed to cover. I'd have to take them to court to even get a cover, and I just don't have it in me. But I have that, so I will post that soon. And anything that uh, donation-wise you can help, I'd appreciate it. And I'll promise to, you know, make it up to everybody in the future, even if it's not you personally, but to somebody who needs help, you know, in the same situation. I've never been one to ask for handouts, but suffering. It's, it's just plain suffering. You know, I talked to my dad, uh, told him what was going on. He's been, he'd know that I was sick and he knew I was getting off the meds, but he knew I was getting better. Like a month late, a month after I got off, I was starting to get better. It wasn't good, but I was getting better. The only thing that was creeping up was, uh, some, uh, bad head stuff, but I figured that would kind of drop or eventually I'd just have to taper off the remoron and that would go away. But I talked to my dad, and I told him everything that's going on. He's just, you know, after my mom passed away, you know, me and him get, get along a lot better now. And I told him, he's like, oh, I hope everything's getting better. And I told him the positives, you know, my heart stuff went well and all that. But I'm like, but mentally I'm going crazy. I'm, go I'm out of my mind. I can't see right you know, everything's, I'm completely detached to what life is, and nothing looks real, I don't look real, things are starting to morph, it sucks, it just sucks, not horribly morph, but I mean, your mind plays tricks on you, and it's constantly flashing and moving and suffering, man, it's just pure suffering. So, I mean, even if you can't donate or anything, back to that, you can't donate or anything, you know, if you're watching one of my videos and you see an ad, I usually don't put ads on them at first, I, you know, I let them go without ads for a while, and then I'll put one on, I'll click on a video, if you see an ad, let it go through, click on it, do whatever, it doesn't make me a lot of money, but in time, you know, I might be able to pay a bill every, you know, three months, so, you know, anything helps, anything. I mean, literally, it's like one cent or two cents per click. But, I mean, I just started this thing, and I've made like 75 cents. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but for for ads on videos that I, you know, I only have like, I have like 23 videos, and I only have ads on like six of them. So, in reality, it's pretty good. But, anyway, um... But my dad is pretty upset, you know. After my mom passed a few years back, and now I'm really sick, 
like this, you know, he just has a hard time, you know, he's just, you know, I could tell, he doesn't open his, you know, he doesn't have a lot of, he's not a feeling kind of guy, but I can tell, you know, inside, he's, it's pretty rough. Well, that's about it for right now. Just wanted to give you an update. I'm hoping in a few days the wave just calms down a little bit. You know, I mean, the body stuff I can deal with, but if the head stuff can just get back, you know, 5% better, you know, I could start you know, trying to get shit done. Just 5%. All right. I'll let you guys go. Have a good day and uh, probably talk again tomorrow. Later.